Germany on the pitch. That game taking place on the wet world stage. But there is another event closer to home. WPTC's Jack Thurston introduces us to some of soccer's youngest but biggest fans. USA This is the other Team USA. Kids at the Vermont Football Academy, a summer camp in Burlington. I'm a really big soccer fan. The program is holding its own World Cup tournament, and in a closely watched matchup Thursday, the players dubbed Team USA defeated the ones called Team Germany two to nothing. Inside, though, the real World Cup game had a different outcome. Despite that, learning the U.S. will still advance is keeping these kids engaged in the huge international competition that comes just once every four years. Well, uh, I didn't watch a single game when I was eight, so this is definitely new, and it's really fun to watch. And it's, I mean, it's great to see all the best players in the world play. It's no secret that in this country, soccer lacks the kind of fan base we see from other sports like baseball or American football. So some coaches have told us they hope to use this excitement of the World Cup to grow the sport of soccer with this young generation. A lot of these kids, it's going to be their first memory of the World Cup. Rob Dow's a soccer coach and former pro player. He says fan support for Major League Soccer has been steadily increasing over the years, as has participation in youth league that teach athletic and life skills. Okay. Learning leadership and what it means to be a leader, what it means to, you know, work within a team. It's really interesting to watch older people play and learn tips from them. Sawyer Hood says watching the World Cup has given him a better sense of the strategy behind passing, skills he'll keep studying as the games continue and ones he'll put into practice himself on the field. In Burlington, Jack Thurston. WPTZ News Channel 5.